Hello. We are looking at uh, Sanchez Ball game in design window of Godot game engine. Let's a little bit uh, look in the game elements. The first and important element is of course movable element with mouse. In our situation this will be some kind of ball and uh, we have it here. This uh, ball uses a rigid body 2D as main body, collision shape 2D with a circular shape of course and sprite with a texture image of some kind of ball. Of course, this is two-dimensional game and we have two-dimensional images. To move a ball, we click with the mouse in a screen. And to, de to detect this, we need some functions. Now we are looking in a code of uh, this game. Of course, I will not uh, use this... Uh, finished and complicated, of course, game project to teach you. Uh, I will help you with something simple and from beginning. But uh, let's see some interesting thing. In function input event, we can, with uh, input dot is action presses, uh, get some uh, information about left mouse button pressed or right mouse button pressed. In our situation this game use function input with uh, this code to test if left mouse button is pressed and if it is true game uh, do some things about starting level, uh, moving object, uh, getting position, changing position, etc, etc. That is thing I want to uh, show you here. Other thing interesting is uh, using global mouse position. With this uh, you can use vector2 variable to get a global position of your mouse in a screen and of course to change it. And now let's uh, start with some simple coding in one new 2D scene. For this scene you will need one image. If you have some image looking like a ball, use it, add it as a sprite. If you don't have it, try to find uh, your uh, icon and put it here as a child mode. And uh, we will try to do some simple thing with a mouse and with object. Our object will be this icon and uh, we will use code for uh, for it. So let's change the name of uh, this first node. We will uh, say example mouse movement or something similar. And because now we have uh, We have a different uh, name than uh, uh, the uh, like um, like our default name. We can create some script. I will attach a new GD script language script with default template, and we will create it. In this script, I suggest you to create one new function. Let's try with input function if we can use it. So input event. And we will say 
if input dot is action just pressed or is action pressed we have two option i will uh, show you difference for now we will use this first one and after that we will need to use uh, something to use our mouse here i have predefined predefined mouse left position but you will not have this in your uh, drop down list so you will need to create some kind of uh, default data for your mouse to do this we will need uh, project settings in project drop down menu and uh, after that we will need uh, to change something in input map in this input map i suggest you to add some actions let me show you actions what i add i add mouse left press and right mouse button click like like e R R R B click so how to do this you can uh, for example you can you can do this here you can write action you want uh, for example mouse click and you can add it when you add it you will have new data on input map but this data is only defined what with a name then you can go go here to plus sign and you have some options key joy button or joy axis joy button and joy axis can be used with game pads joysticks and similar console equipment mouse button is for mouse so we'll click uh, use mouse button device and options device is our initial device so device zero mouse button index we have here left right middle and other options for mouse we will use this default options left mouse button and click add with this we have map added with mouse click i will delete this but you can save it because i will use this mouse left press defined before so this mouse click can uh, be used to detect left mouse button but for example let's say it's this option mouse click this is defining in input map now we go back to our code if input is action just pressed we again going to see what we have and we are searching for mouse click here it's mouse mouse click okay and so if mouse is clicked so left mouse clicked what will be our action our action can be very simple in beginning we can add one level all write it here in a search button level label create and we can use this label with dollar sign and say label dot text equal left mouse button is used simple as this and we will have text showing somewhere here so now let's test this and save this first save 
scene was never saved will be saved with a yes we will use our root node for uh, file name and we will save it and start it okay and now let's see is mouse left button work click somewhere in a screen oh good so we have text because we click left mouse button good now we can try to get data about mouse position so let's create some variable and call it mouse position equal now we need to use uh, some code to get to the mouse position and uh, this is very tricky because we need to to get position of a place in a 2d screen where is mouse clicked if you see this code you will see uh, some part here position get global mouse position this is method this get global mouse position this method if you use it you get the global position of the mouse this method is a uh, part of canvas item this is one of the basic class uh, this class is uh, deeper root than the node to be so what uh, can we do we can try with something like this variable mouse position equal get global mouse position and we will change this text and say mouse position is plus str to conversion so str to conversion from uh, data numeric data to text and mouse position mouse position str mouse let's test it now we don't need to save it just test it so i click position is 302 58 189 so uh, we have positions this is good this is good now we have position in a 2d screen where you click with the mouse this is of course important for a game like this and now what we can do we can change position of our object with movement but this is not so easy i will show you one of position uh, one of option to do it so we use our object and apply central impulse with vector and some kind of direction but what is this direction this direction is some result of positions so this is not uh, completely easy because you need to move object from one to some other position we know other position other position is global mouse position but we need movement so our rigid body need to have some impulse for movement but we will not rush so far we can go step by step so first we can experiment with apply central impulse mouse position is this 
we cannot uh, we don't need to change it we can say something like this our icon object can be under influence of so apply apply but uh, our icon here is uh, texture we need some rigid body rigid body 2d and this rigid body need to have icon here uh, this uh, don't work but we will do it something so okay a rigid body need collision have action okay we will add collision so collision shape 2d okay now we have collision and we have icon so collision shape can be let me see here collision shape shape of collision is not defined so first we need to define it uh, let's pick circle shape let's do it something like this it's not bad so now you have a rigid body icon as a child node collision shape circular shape as other child node this rigid 2d can be under influence of apply some kind of central force or impulse we can do this rigid body 2d dot apply apply force torque central impulse let's try with the central impulse for this we need one vector two for impulse if we write some simple vector if we write some simple vector uh, with uh, data x and zero towards epsilon we can see an experiment what will be with our rigid body so our body rigid body will use applied central impulse what will happen we don't know okay rigid body is moving because rigid body is under some influence of gravity we can try to use this central impulse on rigid body rigid body is little bit moving direction now we will add other collision shape here collision shape 2d with uh, rectangular collision shape and this collision shape uh, can be part of uh, some other body for example static body static body 2d and collision shape can power this is a little bit uh, tricky in 3.1 so what i do with this in situation like this so collision shape and static body static body needs to be above in a level and collision shape needs to be below see simple and we can we can we can add a sprite right okay and sprite can be uh, because we because i believe you don't have other 
I'll change some uh, colors. Okay, let's set green. Good. Greeny. And uh, we can change some data here. Okay, we have green grass here. This is the green grass. Okay, now testing. Idem uh, towards down, changing impulse, and he is going down. Great. Collision shape is up. Uh, we need to set collision shape, of course. Let me put it somewhere here. I will not now explain in using of this uh, micro button, but uh, you can uh, understand it because this is not so complicated. Now I am setting collision shape in a place where image is. Now we have collision shape and we have image above it. So our object uh, will stop in this position when uh, it's moving down. See? And uh, of course, now we can try with some influence of the force. I'm clicking to influence some force here. Nothing is happening, but uh, uh, nothing is happening because this impulse is uh, not uh, strong and you don't see change. But change is. Now uh, let me show you something with some change. This is our impulse, 90. Uh, 9. Let me try, for example, 30. Or something visible, 90. Okay, I'm using impulse on this object, one impulse, an object is moved, as you see, two, three, four, five. When I click, object move towards some direction. But uh, this movement of object is moving towards exact location. What this means? This means... Uh, impulse of the force or applying central impulse will be only as vector2 variable and this vector2 variable is defined with x and epsilon if i say x90 this is moving to towards right and if i say epsilon30 this means movement towards down let's see If I change it, say, movement towards up, I will get something like this. So, movement towards right and up. If you see, this object is a little bit moving towards our up. Okay. With this, you can get some uh, movement. Of course, you can create it like a simple ball which moves now i will a little bit uh, make some change here for uh, this little game to be interesting icon i'll scale it a little bit Okay, and of course, and of course, change of collision shape will be good. Don't forget, I use here circular collision shape, and you have different effect with a circular collision shape and different effect with some other kind. Now our object is a little bit 
lower and movement is something like this so we have some kind of jumping I will change this uh, variable for jumping just to s show you some interesting thing so movement is towards right and we have some jumping see we can move with a few clicks and uh, I can show you some interesting in interesting thing you can use this uh, rigid body of yours and add the camera 2D this camera 2D have uh, some interesting variables setting but what I want to show you, you will see right now. I hope so. Maybe you will not see. Oh, I don't set something. Uh, 2D, press multi dragging current, zoom rotating ca current. Uh, current camera, okay. Let's see what's happening now. Oh, good. This is what I want to show you. See, we can move somewhere in the air or wherever. Good, good, good. So let's change some data here first our object main object will be set somewhere here like this is beginning of something we can change here some data uh, i will not change many things but uh, let's try to do something simple I really don't know what will this be. Uh, of course, I'm using this to fast change collision shape. Good. Now we have image, we have collision shape, we have camera set, and we have object to movement towards right. This object move towards right only if you click with the mouse you can click wherever you want click and object move with this movement towards right object also jump why because we ch we set impulse with jumping now i will click few times object is almost flying see what i want to show you okay and uh, I think this will be all for uh, this lesson only because I don't want to make some very long video but uh, maybe I can try to make some uh, series of videos and continue with this uh, idea of uh, mouse movement and uh, slowly we can uh, we can come to this option where uh, you can uh, play game uh, and if you click in some place your object moves towards this place like this there is some uh, see We are trying to go something up, um, up, up, up. Wherever you click, your object follow. Okay. Thank you for watching. We are going back towards our video. And again, I will try to show you this. So we have movement. And only interesting thing what we can add here is movement towards position and this is tricky uh, because you need some calculation 
in this situation I program it I don't know when in this situation what I do I get some data so uh, to get direction for impulse I use position this is one data this position data is vector 2 defined with x and epsilon position of object so initial position and uh, I use uh, calculation something like this position 2 what is position 2 position 2 is initial position so this is also rigid body position of our object but this position is before you input uh, before you use input so before you click with the mouse this means position exact position of the object let me show you what i want to tell you uh, we will use variable 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 position this variable position is vector 2 uh, vector 2 and vector 2 is our object this is a rigid body 2d dot position dot x and rigid body 2d dot position dot epsilon this is initial position so where the object is hello after some test i change few that data position is only a rigid body 2d dot position and a rigid body 2d is uh, defined with a label as child node of rigid body 2d so uh, if our label is a child node here we need to change definition rigid and as you see here label uh, is uh, defined with a different data uh, let me again explain you position can be written like this and you will get vector 2 and now let's go back here so a rigid body 2d with label this and we will of course use dot text equal and now we don't change few things here so initial position is rtr dot position if we test this we will get information about position on a screen this is position of your object not mouse position see I change position of the mouse bar but object position is different this is initial position and we can of course in a same in a same text use this variable mouse position so mouse position plus str of mouse position and now and now we will have two variables position mouse position if i click here we get position initial and mouse position did uh, we didn't see uh, here because we don't have space to see so i need to change some things here and i think this uh, will be so good but let me try so we have 
we have something like this not easily to see but I really want you to see difference so you can experiment with this and use information of initial and mouse position to see the difference initial position if he is position of your body rigid body position onto the screen and mouse position is only when you click a mouse you get mouse position with this function uh, method get global mouse position with this you can get information about it so this is two variables and if you combine these two variables then you can apply central impulse so experiment with this text and see initial and mouse position i will put this on a comment for now mm, let let it stay uh, and we need some math here so simple math variable direction will be something like this i will use initial position yes minus mouse position uh, i'm not sure if i do it right but who knows and now our central impulse will be this direction impulse and if we test it we will very soon see if this is good nothing happens but something happens if i click here we have moved if I click here so we have some kind of movement maybe let me see how i program it before so i use position uh, so global position of a mouse minus initial position global position ah, no 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 okay now i see global position of the mouse minus uh initial position i think now this is good let me test it okay this is our object i will click mouse somewhere here we have movement great now back we have movement so we have some kind of movement in I think you see idea you have movement in a in a in a space with direction if I click here he will move in this kind of direction if I click here he will move here. if I click here thank you for watching you can experiment with this, you can change image, you can change uh, shape. Uh, I think if you want to make a ball game, use ball collision shape, circular collision shape. You can change image and you can change size and experiment with this. You will have some beginning coding for a ball type of a game. And you can make some things uh, with this uh, two concepts. So you have concept for movement, as I showed before. And now you have concept with movement in direction where you click. Thank you for watching. I hope this is uh, useful for you. If... Uh, you show too much interest maybe i can make a video or two more about this theme but i really think i show you some initial concept of how to 
create ball game. Thank you for watching and see you in some of our next uh, free tutorials about Godot, about GDScript. Of course, you can uh, learn and read something from our free book Mastering Godot. This uh, book is updated regularly and for now we have second update. First update is with a 20 or uh, some more pages. Now we have second update with, uh, with 40 or 50 pages, I don't know. And you can download it uh, from, from each for free. Thank you for watching. See you 